everyone. Welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. I'm so glad you're here tonight. I missed you last week. Yeah, I couldn't do a video last week. I was, um, I had some stuff come up and I just wasn't prepared, didn't have the time. You know how that goes. Life gets in the way of fun stuff, you know? Anyway, so I'm glad to be here with you this week. And oh, let me mention next week. Um, this weekend, on Thursday, I'm going to Houston for the big Stamping Up convention. Um, I get home Monday. I don't know if I'm going to have a video for Monday or not. Um, it'll really depend on, you know, when I get home and all that other stuff. So... I will keep you posted, you guys watch, and if there isn't going to be a video, I will, I'll post it, okay? And of course, if there is, then you'll see the reminder. So, last time we were together, I made this cute little fun accordion kind of card. And this is going to go out to Anita Timmons. Now, you might ask, why is Anita getting this? Anita's getting this because she shared my video, and then she comment shared down in the comments. And then I put everybody's name in a little bowl, and I draw somebody out to win the project from that week. So, if you'll do that for me this week, I would appreciate it. Please share my video, comment, share down below, and you'll be in the running to get the project I work on tonight. Tonight I'm using some new online exclusive products. Um, they just were released um, last week. So I think you're going to like them. And it's a fun, fun card design too. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and then hit the little blue bell. And you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is usually on Monday evenings. Um, I think that's it. I am going to go ahead and change the view down to my hands and if, uh, and we'll get started then. Okay, there we go. Let me set that off to the side. Okay, and this is the card we are going to work on tonight. Oh, let me get things straight. There we go. Um, you're like, where did that designer series paper come from? That is part of the new online exclusives. Um, there was a couple of bundles that were released. Um, there's Simply Zinnia, which is where this comes from. There's a die set that coordinates with it. I know it cuts that out. It cuts these two things out. It's not, I don't have, I forgot to grab it before I got on the video. It, so it has this, it has the dies, it has the designer series paper, and let me show you this paper. I love it. It is called Flowering Zinnias. And look at this. Uh, look at this gorgeous paper. This is the paper I'm using tonight. Um, and I love this paper because you know, this is half, this is six by 12. You can just cut this and make card bases, you know, to make your card, put a sentiment on it, and you are good to go. Um, there's also that coordinates with this um, suite of products is some glimmer paper. It's called Berry Burst Old Olive and White Glimmer Specialty Paper. And look at this shine. I thought this was really pretty. And I don't know, this says this is old olive, but you know what? I think it looks like some of the other greens. So there we go. Let me look. I've got parakeet party here. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. Isn't that pretty together? Ah. So that's the berry burst. Of course, that's the white. So um, there are other... Oh, one more thing we're going to be using tonight that comes with, that coordinates, are the adhesive back shiny sequins. So it looks like we've got some, maybe that's Granny Apple Green, I don't know, there's a yellow. This is Berry Burst, I'm not sure exactly what color that is supposed to be either. 
but they, they all match uh, the designer series paper and other items in the suite. So there's also, with the online exclusives, there's also a bundle that has to do with coffee. Um, so I know we've got a lot of coffee drinkers out there that like that kind of stuff. And then there's some other stamp sets, some bundles, some um, um, just other products out there that are available to purchase. Now, I said these are online exclusives, and that's exactly where you're going to find them, only online. So if you go to my website, denisewill.stampinup.net, and then in the menu, search online exclusives, you'll see all of the new stuff, plus all the stuff that's been around for a while. That's where you'll find our kits, which are wonderful. There's some new kits that just um, dropped. And um, so anyway, there, there you go. That's what we're going to be featuring tonight. It is a fun, fun set, and I love this paper. Okay, so we're going to do this card. And you can see there's a layer here of the green. I used Parakeet Party for a couple of reasons. One, it's retiring, and I love this green. Any of the in colors that were the 22-24 in colors, which are Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, and I'm trying to remember what the last one is. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't remember what the last one is. They're all going to retire at the end of May. So if you need ink refills, things like that, let me find the last color here. It's, it's escaping me. Let me find it. Okay. Oh, Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. So those will be gone when this catalog ends at the end of April. Oh, well, yeah, it is April 30th. I was thinking it was the end of May. I'm glad I looked. Um, it is the end of April. So once they announce the retiring list, which will be like next Monday, things will start selling out very, very quickly. Okay? So if there's something you want that you're going to just be heartbroken if you don't get it, if it retires, you need to get it now. Don't wait. Again, go here. Um, here's my host code, and uh, shop, shop, shop. Don't miss out. I don't want to hear, I missed it, it sold out. Okay, enough of that. And if you, if you need some assistance with your order, let me know. Okay, so like I said, um, this is Parakeet Party. This is eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half for our card base, just our standard card base. So let me burnish this really well with my bone folder. Okay, and I'm just gonna set this aside for now. now. This is where some of the magic happens to make this fun design. Now I have two pieces of cardstock. One's basic white, the other's parakeet party. And these are five. These are these are these say five and a quarter by four. I think I wanted them five by four. Um, you know what? We'll leave them like this, and we can always cut down a little bit if we need to. Okay. Um, no, I think we're right. I think it's supposed to be five and a quarter. Yeah. I will make sure that the correct measurements are in the description, but yeah, I think that's going to work for us. Uh, I don't know. We may have to cut it down now that I, because you, well, I'll show you why and we will work on it, but not a big issue. Okay. So we're going to take a ruler, get your pencil out, get your, get your eraser out. Now, on each of these cards, and I meant to do this ahead of time on one of them, and I didn't. Okay, you're going to put a little mark at one and two and three quarter. Okay, then you're going to do the same down here. I know you can't see my numbers here very well. Here we go. That'll show it better this way. And you're working from the left-hand side of your 
um, card. One by two and three quarters. I'm going to do the same thing down here on this card too. One and two and three quarters. one and two and three quarters. Remember, we may have to cut a quarter inch off the side here. We'll have to see. I'll be honest, I saw someone make this card. I didn't find that their directions were very simple to understand. And so I played around a little bit with the card dimensions and finally I just kind of settled, if you know what I mean. But it still works. Okay, so you are going to, with your pencil very lightly, draw a line connecting opposite um, marks, okay? And you're going to do this on both pieces. Like I said, I had intended to do one of these ahead of time, but I forgot. Best laid plans. not hard. Okay. And that. Okay, that's good. Let me get put my ruler and my pencil out of the way there. Okay, now you're going to take your trimmer and you're going to cut on those lines, okay? You're going to cut down those lines. So if I was doing this myself, just for me, I probably, you, you see the lines there. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have made the lines on there, um, but I wanted you to be able to see it. Um, I'm lining it up with the center of this um, groove there where the blade runs. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this around this way, put that one in the center, put that spot in the center, line these right back up. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Okay, and those are good. The little triangles are going to get thrown away, and we're going to do the same thing with the parakeet party. This is same um, X's. Turn it this way. If there's anything hard about this card, this is it. So, okay, everything's lined up. I love that our trimmer has this little handle right here to kind of hold on to. Okay, so now we can get rid of that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna make sure I don't have any lines here. I'm gonna get my eraser and see if there's any pencil lines I need to erase. I think I did pretty good here. little line right there okay I think oops there's a little one on it bit on here yeah you start looking a little closer than you see it okay there we go so now we are going to layer these and you're always starting from the left hand side of your card okay and so we're gonna layer these so that the tops and bottoms are equal and we have just a little bit of that overlap right there okay um, where is my adhesive? Here's my seal. Um, there we go. Put this here. And you just try to get it evenly spaced with your top and your bottom equal. 
And actually, when I cut my cardstock, I cut them at the same time so that I know that they're exactly the same size. Because sometimes you can be off just a little bit, and it can really screw up your card. So I just cut them together at the same time so that I know that they match exactly. So we're going to do the same thing with this. Um, Same thing right here, top and bottom equal, give me about an even space, and there we go. So here's what we have. Okay, now let's, so you can see the back turns out like this. So the green is a little bit shorter. I tried to get it so that, figure out the measurements so they came out equal, but I couldn't. So now let's do a dry fit here and see if we need to trim off anything. Uh, yes, we do. So we are going to cut off about a quarter inch. Um, I'm going to go use my, well, no, I guess I can use this trimmer here. Hopefully it won't mess up that edge. Oh, I'm going to cut just about a quarter inch off of that. That should work. There we go. I just put a fresh blade in my trimmer last night. I was getting some raggedy edges. So, okay, I cut off a quarter inch, so yes, that should be four, the, this, those pieces of cardstock should be four by five. Okay, both of these. You know, I'm not quite equal right down here. Don't go ahead. I'm going to trim that piece off, because I didn't, I didn't do a very good job of lining those up, although it's probably not going to show it's just me being, there we go, okay. I like that little trimmer, but it only does one layer. Okay, so we are good. This is gonna go just like that. Okay, so now I have a piece of the designer series paper, and this is three inches by four inches. So, um, hold on here. Okay, and we are going to, this is going to fill in our center section. So we're going to attach this so that these are going to be like that, okay? I'm going to attach this one, the small left-sided piece first, and then I'll show you what we'll do. I'm right-handed, so it's just easier for me to line things up this way. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to put... It's a little crooked, is it? Hold on. I'm sure I'm having a tough time getting stuff, stuff straight, on, straight today, aren't I? Okay, that looks okay. So now I'm going to put adhesive on this whole piece and adhere it to the card. Just like this. Giving, you know, an equal border on the three sides. Because so when I put, it, put paper down, or a layer down, that's usually what I do. I look at the three sides. And so then this is going to go right on top of here just like that and I can I have some room to adjust it to make sure that my border is equal and this not matching up exactly is not going to matter because it's going to be covered up but isn't this cute okay you know what I'm going to do before we attach it I'm going to go ahead and stamp okay thank you so much there we go. That is in Berry Burst. Okay, now we're gonna get that, let that dry and we are going to attach it down. Let's 
way more adhesive than I need. Okay. So I'm going to put this. I'll try to keep my head out of the camera. Put this right here. See, I, I'm see I'm eyeballing to make sure I'm pretty even on these two sides. And there we go. Again, my points don't match up exactly, but you know what? Nobody's going to see it because it's going to be underneath a flower. So these flower these flowers are cut out of one of the pieces of the designer series paper. Let's show you. Right this piece right here. Okay. So I pick flowers that had leaves attached to them. So like I would cut this one out and I actually, this is the one I used on the card I showed you to start. I used that flower, that flower and these three leaves. Now for this one, I used these two, this flower, these two leaves, and then there was another leaf that's separate that I'm going to attach because you know what? I kind of like the three leaf look. So I'm gonna put it on this side of my, of my flower. And um, that looks good. That's almost, eh, not quite, but it, it still works. Okay, and it's going to go right on there. Um, you know what I do, and I don't know if you can tell on this. It doesn't always show up on camera, but I did put, I needed a little, I wanted a little more sparkle. Um, I put some Winkastella on there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Last time I checked, Winkastella was still out of stock with Stampin' Up. I hope they get some soon, but it's my understanding it's not just Stampin' Up. It's nationally, it's hard to get um, Winkastella. So, okay, now I'm going to use dimensionals to attach this to the card. So this is where I like to use these little half pieces on the side, half dimensionals that are like the waist along the edge. They're perfect for these kind of smaller areas where you want to give something good support. So, if not, I use, I use them anyway. If I'm at the end of a sheet and that's what's left, they get used. So, I'm going to put one here, put one here, and we can put one right there. Okay, it's kind of a big, plus it's not cardstock, it's designer series paper, so it's not as stiff. I mean, you could certainly stamp, where's the stamp set? You could certainly stamp this zinnia and the leaves, color them in, die cut them, but I wasn't in the mood to color, so I just did, I just cut out of the designer series paper. Sometimes the dies in the die set will cut out images from the designer series paper. I didn't see that that was the case with this. I could be wrong, but I didn't see anything. So I'm going to put this right on here like that. See? And so you can't even tell that those center points don't match up exactly. So then I'm going to get my um, little sequins here. These are the new ones that are in the online exclusive called Adhesive Back Shiny Sequins. Uh, let's see, let's do just like I did with the other one. We're gonna put this one here. I like these little sequins. Put one here and we'll put one over on the other side. You can just glam yours up as much as you want. The other thing that I thought would have been really pretty was to take that sparkle paper and use that in this area here. I just decided not to do that for this hard. So anyway, that is it. Not too hard. Um, but I wanted to share it with you. So I want to thank you for joining me tonight. Remember, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video next week for you. We will see. Um, it'll be a surprise to me too. So, but I'm so glad you joined me tonight. Please share my video, comment, share it down below, and I might be sending this card out to you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.